Aeon units. Why does it always seem like they're nothing but problems? You know, I like them. The design, the wiring diagrams are always good. The doors are all hinged. It's nice you don't take any screws out to open them up. But I'll tell you, you always have these pain in the ass problems with them. Up on a very large warehouse building today. Got an Aeon unit. Both compressors were flat out of refrigerant. So I figured I'd uh, bring up a tank of nitrogen and try to locate the leaks because they got micro channel coils. So I don't want to write it up for a leak check and have to come back and then the coils are leaking. Hence, you know, the micro channels can be very difficult to repair. And depending on what type of leak it is and where it is, it might not be repairable. But I just want to show you guys what I'm dealing with here. I got the roof hatch right behind me and the Aeon unit way back there now of course as I said I had to pull up a nitrogen it's a pretty high building so I pulled it up through that roof hatch there and I carried it all the way over to this unit where it is but you know it doesn't seem to ever be a problem with train units carrier units York units it always seems like Aeon units so always got a problems but I can't say that I haven't seen plenty of them work without problems but I'll tell you what Everybody in my uh, in my area says Aeon sucks. I want to talk about why it's so important to do your due diligence while you're on a service call. You know, make sure you check everything that could possibly be wrong. Because the last thing that you want is to quote out to a customer a repair, and then you come back and you can't repair it, or there's something else wrong. You know, it's, it just makes you look like crap. It makes your company look like crap. So I'm gonna show you a few examples of how many layers of due diligence I really needed to go through on this unit. And um, you know, I hope you guys can uh, relate and, and learn something from this video. Because, you know, first I was like, uh, you know, I got, I got some leaks. All right, I guess the right thing to do is get the nitrogen tank, even though it's, a, it's gonna suck bringing it up here but let's find where the leaks are. So I did that. And then I said, you know what, let me, uh, let me do a little more looking into this system. I located the leaks, but I said, uh, uh, let, me, let me look a little further into this. This is, this is very weird. You know, I got uh, like two leaks, one on, on, well, each micro channel coil, there's two stages in this unit. Each micro channel coil is leaking. So, you know, I'm like, well, what's going on here? What, what caused, both coils to be leaking. I mean, is it just we just the most unlucky unit we got here? This is no, that's usually not the case. Something happened that created a situation that both coils are leaking, and you know they're in totally different spots. So it doesn't really seem like one event would have correlated to this problem, but you know I believe that's actually the circumstances here. So uh, in a second I'm going to be over to this unit. And I'm going to show you exactly where I found the leaks. And then I'm going to show you exactly what caused the leaks. All right, so I'm over by my rooftop unit that I'm working on. It's a 25 ton Aeon unit. And like I said, through my gauges on both, both circuits, they're both completely empty. So, as you can see, I brought my nitrogen up. And I got... I got set up, put my gauges on. Just gonna throw a little, uh, the one leak's more substantial than the other. So I'm just gonna throw a little pressure in that so I can show you exactly where it is. Big blue. Let's take a walk. So my leak is you can hear it in here. See action on the outside here. That's the one coil, and each coil is a total separate circuit. So this one's actually leaking up here. It's hard to see. I couldn't get really the bubbles to, uh, to bubble up there, but 
when I get a little further into it, you'll see exactly where it is. And so I said, uh, you know, I was looking at this, like, all right, obviously we got leaks in both coils. That's where the refrigerant went. Um, you know, what's, what's the right move here? It's the unit's only about a year old. So really the coils should be under warranty. We should be able to get them replaced. Um, but how far, how long is that going to take, uh, you know, how, to get those? I mean, I know there's a shortage on things already. So it might, we might be talking about two, three months before we get them. I, I don't know. Maybe Aeon's better with their lead time. Maybe we'd be quick. But uh, we didn't look into that. Um, so I'm weighing my options. I'm like, we can try to fix it. I've seen people, you know, able to, to make repairs on these coils before. I know it is tricky, but uh, I'd be willing to do it or, you know, give it a shot if that's what they wanted us to do. But I said, you know, wh why are both coils leaking? Like, you know, I, we just got through a heat wave. It was probably like 96 degrees yesterday here in New Jersey. And, and, and the past three days was pretty hot. But they have high pressure protection. You know, that really shouldn't correlate to, well, why are the coils leaking? So I said, you know what? This unit's got three condenser fan motors. And here, you can only see one on each side. There's those plates in the center there. kind of block your view from the the middle one so I said I mean, well it's too kind of too high I couldn't really see up there so I said let me hop on top of the unit and I'll see what I find there. so that's where we're gonna go right now I'll show you what's up there all right so I'm on top of the unit now hopefully the wind's not too bad up here I hope it's not messing up the audio um, but I'm gonna take a, as soon as I came up here you know this is pretty obvious what happened here um, I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see it What do you think? We got a problem here. You can see the condenser fan bracket broke over here. You see the blades all chewed up and ripped. Blades cracked there. Our wires are just hanging. Which means I gotta check into the fuses too. I'm gonna pull this cover off so we can get a little better look at the coil. So I pulled the fan grate off. And you can see what it did to the coil. So that's pretty much where the leak is on the one coil, probably back here somewhere. I can hear it, but I can't pinpoint it without moving all that. I don't know how bad it is. It's, uh, it's gonna be tough to get to, but you can see uh, man, what a job it did here. I'm surprised, you know, that didn't actually sound to be leaking. I didn't hear nothing over there when I pressurized it, but obviously that thing is, pretty beat up. I would assume it's very close to leaking if it's not. Uh, better look at the fan blade. It actually took the wires out for that fan motor. That's these wires here. You can see the other end there. The whole bracket is busted. So yeah, it's not too pretty what happened here. So another thing that I was checking out before I finish up here, I was just checking uh, to make sure my fuses didn't blow when that when that motor cut those wires. And it looks like um, there's each motor has its own overload protection. So most likely just trip that overload. Uh, the fuses are good. So that's just another good example of doing your due diligence. You know, you can make sure you know exactly what you need when you come back. Because like I said before, there's nothing worse and coming back and you know this could have been a, a, a compound problem you know if if I didn't go crazy making sure like finding where the leaks were they could have sent somebody oh we're gonna do a leak check oh you know leak is on a, a micro channel coil let's replace the coil then they come back with the micro channel coil oh condenser fan motor bracket broke and the motor's shot and same thing with the fan blade you know the motor may be good but I'm gonna write it up to replace everything you know new bracket new fan blade new motor new coils got to run some new wires you know but it's 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 much better if you just take the time when you're first out in the job just to make sure you find out what you need go through everything figure out why you know ask yourself questions what happened here why did both coils start leaking you know and look into it and come up with the you know a good solid diagnosis on what you think happened and what exactly needs to be repaired you know and 
you, your customer might question it in the beginning, like, oh, what, what, what took you so long to f just figure out you didn't fix anything? I'll tell them, listen, I went through everything to make sure there was nothing else we needed. This way, when we come back, we get you got back on 100% without any problems, you know? Because this could have turned into uh, a much longer drawn out ordeal than it needs to be if I didn't go crazy looking through everything, you know? Um, I know it's it's doesn't seem that hard. They're like, oh, let me just take a look at the condenser fan motors, but, you know, the unit's a little high. That's why I hopped up on top and, you know, I got a better look at it. And then once I was in there, I was able to really see what the hell happens. But, um, yeah, you know, I just a uh, good recommendation that I pass on to everybody. You know, do a thorough job. You know, your customers are paying good money to have us out here, and they want a good service. So and as long as you do a good job, your customer will be happy. You get the AC going for them. You get it fixed right, and you can move on to the next one. So that's all I got for you guys today. I want to hear if you guys like Aon units. What do you think of it? If you guys got a lot of experience working on them, have you had a lot of problems? Have you had good experiences? Comment down below and let me know. Also, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button, notification bell, so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching the video.